Thank you for watching Not My Bag. If you're watching this, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're listening, give a five-star review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. The year you did X Factor, like, at that, was that good point, year. it was, was also, like, so, like, it was so much different to what it was towards the end when it, it was so intense. I and, mean, like, X Factor then, like, people invested. Like, it was the, we used to watch it every week, didn't we? Yeah, like, like me, mum and dad. A bit of popcorn, James sat Arthur, down. Ella Henderson. Like, we had a good year. That was an insane year. Like, yeah. we had such a good year, and we're all still close now, oh, which is, like, really right. I, I can't Ella. believe, like, yeah. again, I'm not trying to make you feel old, but... Because you're not, because you're not, I'm bit. not saying that, but like it was 11 years ago. I know. That, That's, does, that is nuts. That does make me feel a little bit sick in my mouth because it's like, that is so how nuts. How is it me. so long ago? Like, I wrote my book last year and I called it 10 because it was 10 years. And I was like, yeah. fuck, I'm old. It's nuts. Like, like, I was like, like a laugh on like X Factor. And yeah. now I'm like, oh, uh, bills and mortgage and divorce. <laughs> Great. Like, you know what I mean? Like all the proper, fun stuff. Oh, all fun stuff, fun grown stuff. up. I oh, don't. <laughs> I always get that when, you know, when you get like a random tweets pop up and it's like, oh, like Just Dance by Lady Gaga is like, 10 years old or whatever and you sit there and you're like fuck gay yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or that or that gay do you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> move over to that side now. yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> gay <laughs> I'm used to this I'm bloody used to this oh my god but no yeah I do sometimes get that like I get uh, Twitter's the worst one so like you know when you see on Twitter someone's put on this day Oh. there's like this on this day thing <laughs> it's like tweet this it's yeah. like oh babe like stop pressing the buttons mm. um and one on this come day up, 12 years ago yeah like one know. come up and it was like oh my god love the saturdays and i'm like okay saturdays don't been together for about 10 years yeah. Yeah. how long ago was this street like yeah. it's just crazy i miss that we would we did summertime ball last year with capital and i saw rochelle love Rush. me and like, rochelle went to school together did you yeah. shut up and yeah. i was like she, she was next to me and i was i had a chat with her and then i was like george was like oh is that the lady from this morning? I went, you mean Rochelle from the Saturdays? And I, I was like, what do you mean? Yeah, but mean? you say Rochelle from the Saturdays. I say Rochelle from S Club Juniors. Oh, true. So, I say Rochelle from this morning. <laughs> so this is <laughs> generation. generation. Rochelle from that. this morning, Rochelle from the Saturday, <laughs> Rochelle from S Club Juniors. Oh, nice mental, isn't it? Yeah. And like, but I do. And even, um, what was it? Nadine Coyle when I'm a celebrity. Nadine. George, George went Nadine from I'm a celebrity. Making went, me a jam and a. What do you mean? From, from I'm a Celeb. What did like, you say about Nadine? I thought she he was didn't just know Nadine from I'm a Celeb. Was that from Girls Aloud? You know what Girls Aloud is, right? Yeah. You, I should, don't, do. I would, you I would, should do being my brother. I actually surely. would not be able to tell you who's in Girls Aloud. That is disgusting. Him, why do I work with wait, him? Wait, wait, wait. Is Girls Aloud Sporty Spice and all that? Get the fuck out no, of here. No, George. Get out. No. Don't, you're insulting. You <laughs> just insulted the entire fucking gaze. <laughs> Get out. I've just heard a lot of people. No. I want a fucking COVID screen. I've heard a lot of people. Oh, oh you're, you're, you're horrible. Sorry, you guys. I'll make it up to you. Right. Please. Who is in Girls Aloud? you got a name. You'll know like two. Name now. two. Okay, so and I'll that. give you one. Nadine. Yeah, yeah. right. Nadine. Victoria Beckham? Fuck you. I'm you, you know this. You Take know this. Take your microphone. She's like a big what singer. What group is Victoria Beckham in? And be very careful. Because I've had, had a beer. of them on the podcast. You can't do this And I right will now. lash. I will lash <laughs> out. Kimberly Wyatt. No. She's a pussycat doll. <laughs> Fucking fuck. The reason we do this pod is so that I educate you. We've had two of these girl band members on the pod and you don't even know. Nadine is part of Are Girls Aloud. Are you sniffing glue? Mel Are C? you sniffing glue? Mel C's a Spice Girl. <laughs> Wait, who's here? I'm getting my heart. Hurts. Yeah, no, I'm. I've Guys, got can you put me out my misery? Cheryl Cole. Cheryl Cole is in Girls Aloud. She hasn't been on the pod. No. No, right. I'm saying Spice Girl. Nadine. Nadine. Out here. Guys. Cheryl. Kimberly Walsh. Nicola Roberts and Sarah Hardin. Mm. Guys, I wouldn't have been able to get any. Get of out. Them. And and I'm you got this. Victoria Beckham, Mel B, Mel C, Jerry, and go on. <laughs> <I've> been... <laughs> can you can I have help find a friend? Uh, uh... Oh, Emma. Sorry. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> Why? <laughs> Wait, so I've you're not giving answers. answers. She's giving answers from over there. This is fiddle. I, this game. I forgot for a second. I was like, oh, Emma. No, no, you're all fiddlies. I need um, some education. You do. Yeah, you do. I mean, that was the whole concept of the pod. So thanks, George. It was, going looks really like it's well. going well. It's yeah. going really well. Oh. Can we touch back on um, Slim Big Brother? No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Ah. No, it's um, done now. Yeah, <laughs> you went in there and you basically killed it and you won. Yeah. I'm real. How was it to be? I loved it. Do you yeah. know what? When I went in there, it was only like 
a month and a bit after I'd come off X Factor. Was it all a bit? I bet the press like, were like exactly like on everywhere. me. Everywhere. So actually, to be locked up for a month mm. was perfect. Yeah, to get yeah, away yeah, from yeah. it. Yeah, and like. I met one of my genuine like best friends in life, Claire from Steps. Oh, amazing. Who I love. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, like it was just the best experience for me. I was always the biggest fan of Big Brother. Yeah, and. I was going to be a housemate when I was 18. I was in hiding, no, in the lake, doing bits, everything. I had all my suitcases transferred over. And back then, if you got found out, you couldn't go in because it was such a big deal. Right. And I came out, it was all over the front page of the paper that I was going in as like a secret weapon. And so I had to get pulled. And oh, I sort of never no. let, it, let it go. Yeah. Because I always but loved Big Brother. did you manifest it like I knew this might happen? Well, fast forward seven years, I go in as a celeb and win it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Talk about, yeah, talk about so, making yeah, laugh. I, I love that. that. But no, I loved it. I had the best time in that house. And um, yeah, I'll always hold that so special. Was it hard? Because I I don't know whether I would spend a few days and be like, this is so exciting. And then suddenly just flip and be like, I can't do this. Nah, it wasn't for me. Like, I think because I was such a fan of the show. Fine, you knew so like where there was into. like time where you maybe felt yourself getting bored. Yeah. I'd go and look at like, how does this door lock automatically? Mm. Where the camera is. Why like... does that light change like yeah, that? Okay, how fine. does this work? How does that work? Like I'm yeah. like borderline not right. So <laughs> I'm like, let me just work on Keep this. Keep yourself so, occupied like, though, Yeah, just it? being in there. I was just like, I'm in the big brother house. Like, yeah. It was amazing. I loved it. Yeah. What, what was it like when you won it, when they called out your name? Were you just like... Again, I don't remember do, the do actual you get, moment. Do you but, get told by anyone like you... You're gonna win it, like a bit or no? Because you don't see anyone. It was just yeah. me, and at that point, Heidi and Spencer. Do you never from really see anyone? Yeah. Like, obviously, there's clips of security running in when there's arguments. No, no, no. Never... In our series, I mean, we didn't have no security running in, but no, you don't get to see anyone. Yeah. The only time you ever get to see someone is if it's during a task and you're supposed to see them. Oh, okay. So, like, right. someone's dressed as like a sausage walking through. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, sausage. <laughs> like, like, if it's part of it, but no, you don't see. It's not like Love Island. Like Love Island, you see. Yeah. They yeah, make people do stuff that. again. And I went shit. to Villa. It was so weird because it looks like an actual set when you you know they make it look yeah. so when i went i was like there is when you look out from the pool into the horizon there's just a wall of cameras i'm like how would you not know that they're there you i mean that's the difference like that's why i always love big brother because there was like no interference mm. no one hidden used to cameras get everywhere, i'm guessing i mean they're not i mean every mirror is they, a camera they're like the right I don't know like two, so this. like that mirror like there the, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, no, you can well, say that. that okay, they are like goggle box cameras. They're yeah. like hotheads. Always just right. get told off. So, like, that's all right. People know. <laughs> I know. I know. They do. People are like, oh, and it ain't really our telly. It's a little one. <laughs> oh, no. um, oh, I'm glad you've said it. No, now. I don't give a fuck. Like, literally, I've got an 82 inch telly and I have to watch it on a portable <laughs> oh. for Eyeline. <laughs> <laughs> you know what as well we used to get the speaker turned down and my yeah. dad used to be like what <laughs> what was that and we'd be like oh my god or dad would be five minutes to like uh, so there'd be a punchline on this thing there'd be a all delay like, in his mind dad would go oh. uh, <laughs> yeah, that was funny no, imagine doing that with my mum yeah. like, good luck my mum and your dad fuck me that's a long episode to film. <laughs> well, we, do you know what would be a long one your mum and our mum oh god oh, can you imagine the hell them two over lakeside talk about shit <laughs> don't <laughs> No, mum is like... Dan Marks' kitchen. A lady come up to the pharmacy and say, she's like, I always catch up. I'm in, in Tesco. We always have a nice catch up. I went, how long are they? Yeah. She went, about 20 no. minutes. I went, long Bless time, you. long time. Bless you. I get more messages about my mum than I do anything else. Do you? So do we, yeah. honestly. It's I so love funny. that though. Yeah, no. Like